Welcome back to The Big Idea. Tonight, I've got what would be a dream come true for some folks and a nightmare for others. Mothers and daughters working together shoulder to shoulder, running their own companies, making big bucks. The next guests have a job in what otherwise might seem like a man's world, selling car accessories. Ginger Bailey, our mom and the CEO of Racemark International and ggbailey.com. And Emily Bailey, the daughter and e-commerce director of Gigi Bailey. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, this is, you know, in the intro, we talk about how this was traditionally, a, it is a man's business selling car accessories. And floor mats, we'll get in a second. And you've been doing it for 30 years. Yes. Real pioneer. I was. So you guys, so I understand, you sell basically custom floor mats. So if I've got my car, and instead of the factory mats, I want something that's in any way kind of, you know, innovative or custom. I know you've sold to Hulk Hogan, Hillary Duff, mm -hmm. Andy Dick. you got a big, um, a custom, you got a big celebrity base. How did you get into the business in the first place? Well, we started selling a lot of accessories um, to the sports car market, which was very small. But there was one accessory that everybody needed, which is totally unique, and that's a floor mat. So we decided to focus on being the best we could at doing just floor mats. So we created the first carpet floor mat in the world back in the 70s. And then we started innovating it, and we kept adding things to it, and eventually came up with something that all the... Um, high-end cars really wanted. Then in the 90s, I was trying to figure out how do you take that to the next level? You know, we had this great history of making a great product, but where are we going to go with it in the future? And we'd always been trying to reach out to the end user, and we had trouble connecting. And all of a sudden, this thing, the Internet, came about, and I, it was like a light bulb. You know, this was where we could connect. And then we said, okay, what do we want to do when we connect? We said, let's have them design their own floor mat. It really should be about what they want. Because when you think about it, the floor mat is the biggest real estate in the vehicle that you can change. You, you can can't change, change anything, anything else. else. And so now people can design their own. And you brought kind of a whole new flavor. You were the first. You came up with, I'm going to make pink floor mats and polka dotted. Mm -hmm. And, Mom, you were like, no way. The pink was really hard to figure out, but... It worked. <laughs> it's been, is, correct me, the number one selling floor mat or number That's one color? in our top color, our top five colors. In our top five colors. Yep. So how is it walking into business with mom? I mean, mom, she's got this established business. Right. You're the daughter. How is it coming in? And for me, I think I first started working in the family business when I was 13 um, on my summer vacations in the manufacturing plant, packaging mats and doing our grommets. And I wasn't that interested in the business until the Internet option came about. And for me, it was a really great opportunity because I'm very involved in the product and interested in the product and the marketing side. And um, through the Internet, I was able to not just make black, gray, beige mats, sure. do leopard print, oriental. Really creative pink. stuff. Exactly. What's her biggest weakness? Her biggest weakness? Well, actually, I'd say initially maybe delegating, but you've, you're very good at delegating now. I think it's because you're so busy. You probably are. <laughs> no, right. What's her biggest weakness? Um, coming late to meetings, yeah. <laughs> but she, she, said she, inherited it. <laughs> she said she inherited it from me, <laughs> so that's tough. <laughs> yeah, what's the biggest brawl you guys have had at work? Um, I am very focused on the systems and organization because, you know, you can sell a whole lot, but if you don't you run a disciplined sure. right. business and implement, so I'm really big on making sure things are organized and documented and communicated. She has to rein me in a little bit. <laughs> and you're kind of the, the, the cowboy and just well, want to sell. Well, as soon as I have an idea and, and you want to do I it. want to launch it right away yeah, and I, was, I hate waiting. And, I was the same way. Uh, I was the same nuts. way. Is Dad in this business? Oh, yes. He actually founded the um, original business when he was racing for Porsche of America. Okay. And um, he actually creates a lot of the innovations to the product, but he didn't get the Internet. <laughs> no, most people of, of that prior generation don't. How is it? It is a man's business, the car business. I mean, I, I've done a lot of advertising in the car business. It's, it's a stupidly male business, frankly. I mean, and it's finally coming around being that obviously most of the purchase decisions are actually dictated by women. Mm -hmm. How do you 51%. find it? Yeah. How do you find it as a woman, as a young woman? Uh, in the business today dealing and also mom going back a little bit in this real kind of man's world I mean, for me I think it's exciting and we have a huge opportunity because you know from I think a female perspective we're able to bring something new to the product and do something completely different yeah. I mean I equate our product with rims maybe 15 years ago and you know 15 years ago no one did anything or knew anything about rims and now it's a huge huge industry and I think our product is very similar in the fact that we have this option out there, and right now our challenge is just educating the consumer, mm -hmm. um, you know, that it is available. Well, it's a great story. Uh, Emily and Ginger Bailey of ggbailey.com. Guys, congratulations. Continue success.